I have no fears. I first I'd had fears, but then I realized that it just because something is different doesn't mean it's something that should be scary. Right. Um, the same way as the way our kids will live online, it's our job to not uh, uh, just discourage them from it because it's going to be happen their, anyway. It's going to be part yeah. of their life. I think that's what's kind of hard for me is like to accept that it's going to happen anyway just like lead them along where they're not consumed by it and not consumed not controlled understand how to be the strong survivor in the midst of all that stuff not being the sheep but kind of understanding and being vigilant and aware things that are destructive and things are not yes just because something is good uh it it doesn't mean it could be good for you and Mm -hmm. too much of a what is that too much of a good good thing thing is a bad thing could could be a bad thing Mm -hmm. um and so yeah internet it's a good thing but too much of internet could be a bad thing yeah yeah, absolutely. That's how I feel. So I'm starting to like, I think, s- figure that out inside myself because I was, I felt, always felt like this, like technology is taking over. It's like scary. I don't want my kids to watch anything, you know, mm-hmm. but it's like you do because they're going to be consumed or they're going to get to that point anyway. The technology is part of their lives now. It's, you know, going to be part of their lives. They've, from their, the time they were babies, it's always been around. I mean, this much, you know, what we're going through right now. So when we were little, it was like, whatever's on TV is what you watch. Mm -hmm. You watch the commercials. (laughs) And now they're like, Skip, Mom, what is this? A commercial? Yeah. (laughs) Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. They have it so good. It's so easy. Yeah. No, it's, listen, man, I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. I remember sitting through, yeah, like, what is it, two minutes of commercials? I remember, you know, being homesick on a school day and uh, you're watching Matlock, Price is Right. Because the watching, song's on, yep. And then you're watching those, you what, no now control. that's what I call music CD a commercial uh, advertisement. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the um, Sham Wow. The Sham Wow, yep, <laughs> Happy Days. The, the nonstick pan, that the green non- pan. Yeah. There's so many good ones. But then that time sucked. I know, but we didn't know any better. That's right, the thing. Right. That's all it like. Yeah. That's all we knew, and so I think for our for our kids, this is all they know, and we can't like try to, yeah, keep them from you know what's going on right now, the technology and the things that are evolving with it. We I just think you just gotta teach them how to. I think I just get scared because I see all these social media. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like people having these conversations on social media about how bad some of these video games are for your kids are they psychiatrists I, or a psychologist no, it's just moms going right so then what are they don't ha- let your kids play uh roblox because this and this and this have and they this. seen studies to show an effect of no roblox they, on, a, on a child they, their their whole thing is which i understand this i just don't know i guess i'm trying to figure it out like there's so many different ways you can approach this but Roblox was a big one. There was a mom that like posted this video on Instagram. And I mean, it's got millions and millions of views. Her whole thing, I haven't seen all of it, but her whole thing was like, be careful because on Roblox, you can, which a lot of video games, you can talk to people through the game. Yeah, that's a different conversation. Which is like, just be aware of like, don't allow your kids to do that. But anyway, she was talking about how there's like predators on there who will actually ask their kids like, Hey, what's your name? Where do you live? Like the mm-hmm. addresses, trying to like fake, like find them, and that was kind of like scary for me because I'm like, oh my gosh, this is real. But we've also had conversations with our kids yes. about those things, and so and that's strengthening the and uh, the the your child to be able to take on the world that's coming because yeah, you can't protect them. Like I think the best thing you can do is give them the tools to be like, oh, this is bad because like if you don't. If they're not aware that there are like bad people in the world, one person's going to come up to them and offer them candy and they're going to go with them. Oh, it's like the same thing as telling yeah. them, hey, don't get in a freaking van mm-hmm. with, with, a, with a stranger, right? Yeah. So it's like the same, same thing with technology. I think talking about it and saying like, first of all, we don't let our kids talk to anybody unless they know them, right? Mm-hmm. That's our rule. I, you looked at me as if we'd never I'm agreed to on that. Yeah. <laughs> we're, no, we're on the same page, yeah. right? Wait, wait a second. Was that? Did you tell them? That? Yeah. No. So it's like they're not allowed to even talk on their like headset unless it's a person we've they're related to or a friend that we've like approved. And the thing is, we trust them, so we know like when they're talking. There's been a couple times where Jack 
the, he's they've been caught too. They've been caught because I get notified via email if and you then added they're somebody done. to yeah. their. And, and that's like, a, that's a beautiful thing is you can have all these parental controls where you are monitoring them because if you just completely shut them down, they're gonna rebel. find a way. Yeah. They're gonna rebel. They're gonna find a way to like work around your rules, and then it's gonna be like even worse for us as parents. So it's I don't. The know. argument that I have, and I think what our parents have always tried to like bring you know convince people is that technology will make you dumber and i think that's false technology won't make you dumber in fact i remember jordan peterson was having this great point he's like if you turn on cartoons for a child a small like you know a two-year-old uh one, one, one to two-year-old that they're going to grow up to be dumb well no what they they have studies and they show that that's not the case mm -hmm. what will happen is when that child is uh has a lack of attention at such a young age and they're just drawn to this thing, then that might be a disconnect in their development. Yeah. So by you leaving a kid in the crib and just turning on cartoons, yes, that will do That's more damage. That's the more damage, But yeah. if you're interacting with them and they're getting that communicate, their neurons are firing through communication as their brain is trying to figure out every other word that, that you're saying in order to understand its meaning, mm -hmm. that's a different conversation. Absolutely. You neglect the child, then yes, their ability to thrive is going to be it's interesting. Decreased. I'd never thought about that that it's, way, but it, yeah, it's it, right. Hey, thanks for watching our Next Door Neighbors podcast. And be sure to capture the full episode anywhere podcasts are streamed and including our YouTube channel, Next Door Neighbors.